He's turned up in all different areas across the front line, hasn't he? Wide, central, or as the out-and-out -out striker. Personally, I think he's a, he's a goal-getter first and foremost, but he's got contention there with Hurst. But Derby popping it around nicely. Leicester doing their best to press. They're in possession at the moment, but it comes in the ball for Yeah, sorry, for Clark, but Yeah, but they're, they're trying to press, but Derby at the moment just popping it around them. Not, not to any dangerous effect, but looking neat and composed. Mitchell Clark, it was with the ball. Here's Epier away on the right hand side. Can he get something out of this? Admiral Musquay gets his shot away. And on the follow up, George Hurst, we've got the opening goal. Eight gone at Holmes Park. Initial parry from John Mitchell from the shot from Admiral Musquay saved. And on the follow up, George Hurst continuing an excellent run of recent goal scoring form to give the young Foxes the lead. Eight gone at Holmes Park. Leicester City won. Derby County nil. Well, slightly against the run of play, you have to say that Leicester have just had a little phase of attack, but they look dangerous. <laughs> they, 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 they've got firepower. There's the city with that front four that was talking about how they'll be orchestrated was another matter. But when they get it together, they're quite a fearsome proposition. But Josh Epia, who we've spoken about pre-match, showed his power and his pace and his ability and good awareness to pull the ball back. A little bit of a bobble on the board. I thought, oh, perhaps the chance has gone. Musgrave did superbly well to get the shot on target with power. Parried by the keeper. Hurst follows up. Leicester have proven. If you're good enough, you'll get that opportunity. Yeah, Ben Chilwell, Hamza Chowdhury. Yeah, examples. Here's the free kick. Kiernan Dewsbury Hall in swinger. Maybe a chance for Amber Musquay. Oh, he's off the post. On on the follow-up. It's Josh Epier who scored. Well, they get a second. And Josh Epier all smiles. This time, Josh Epier goes from goal provider to goal scorer. And on 25 minutes, the Young Foxes double their advantage. Here's the in-swinger from Kieran Dewsbury Hall. Initially, Avril Musquay came back off the post. And there was Josh Epier. Might have taken a touch off the defender, but through Jonathan Mitchell, a crowd. And it means that the Young Foxes go 2-0 up. Leicester City 2 Derby County nil. Well, Derby County looks rather nervous uh, defending that set piece. There's height uh, in abundance in Leicester City's starting 11 then. Um, Hurst, Musquay, Ugalumba, uh, Johnson. You're know, quite a fearsome quartet, that is. Callum Wright. Oh, excellent work from Callum Wright, continuing his run. Keep hold of the ball is the cry from the bench. Ken and Dewsbury Hall to Callum Wright. Dewsbury Hall again. Now Darnell Johnson, looking for the run of Admiral Musquay, who's into the box, gets his shot away. Well, what about that for a third from Admiral Musquay? He's been knocking at the door, Matt, and he finally gets your message. What a finish this is, 28 gone. It is Leicester City 3, Derby County nil, but hats off to Admiral Musquay. What a finish this is. Well, he's had two previous strikes, I think, that have been part of the build-up to the to the goals that Leicester have scored, but what about that? On the angle, no messing about. Lovely ball from um, Johnson initially, introduced by Hall, picked up a lovely little position. Moscow's Mus made the run, and you thought, OK, in that position, maybe he's going to have a little twist and turn, fire across, uh, across goal, but not striking from there. He's caught the goalkeeper unawares. He, he's looking in disbelief, he thinks there's a hole in the side netting. You've so been impressed by him, haven't yeah, you? So, yeah, yeah, looks yeah. strong, powerful, he moves well and, and carries ability with it. But uh, he hasn't had a lot of assistance in fairness in the attacking sense. Alex Babos hangs that one up, header on. There might be a chance here for the derby number nine in the scored. Jamal Hector Ingram gets on target. But they've got a goal back of derby. 37 gone. And it's come from a free kick, hung up by Alex Babos. There's the header down from Brown and Jamal Hector Ingram with the slide rule finish beyond Victor Johansson. So there might well be a lifeline here for the young Rams. There's the flick on. Luke Thomas trying to get the challenge in, couldn't. And a finish beyond Victor Johansson. Jamal Hector Ingram, the goal scorer. And Leicester are reaping the rewards nearly every time they put the ball in the box or even just venturing forward. They look a threat. Terrific work from George Thomas. Can he get into the box? Can he get his shot away? He does! Terrific work from the captain. Dispossessing his opposite number in midfield. And it means that the Young Foxes restore their three-goal advantage. But what about this for work from the captain? Bateman it was with the ball back in. And Derby, well, they've only got themselves to blame here. It was Wassel. 
Sibley it was who came in, but he wanted too much time on the ball. There is George Thomas taking off his toes and a left-footed finish beyond Jonathan Mitchell. Well, we talked about the energy, didn't we, and the, the dynamism of that midfield too, Dewsbury Hall and, and Thomas, and there's the evidence. Uh, Sibley, who was, who was praising earlier, uh, he, he looked decent in attacking sense, but far too casual there. He looked like a player who was not used to being hounded in those areas of the pitch, but um, George Thomas has, has got different ideas. It's superb work individually, you know, he's, he's created that goal, that opportunity for himself and finished it superbly.